We're going to start today's episode off with a quick history lesson. You know the lighting company Aperture? Well, back in the day, they used to make microphones too. I owned their V-Mic. It was and is a pretty inexpensive shotgun microphone that I mainly used for scratch audio. It feels super cheaply made, but it's lasted me over three years and the sound quality isn't even half bad. They also made the A-Lav, which is again, an affordable, half decent quality lavalier microphone. I haven't used this nearly as much, but other reviews have always praised its quality and price. Well, fast forward a few years and the team behind Aperture's microphones have spun off into their own company called called Deity, and today we're talking about their super cardioid shotgun microphone, the D3 Pro. As always, I like to give you my thoughts up front just in case you're in a hurry. So if you're looking for a professional sounding high quality shotgun microphone for 199 bucks, this is the best option out there in my opinion. I'm actually recording my voiceover right now with it. If you want to know more, stick around because YouTube prefers longer videos apparently. So the first thing you'll notice about the D3 Pro is its build quality. Everything from the shock mount to the cables to the microphone itself all feel very well made and strong. It's not waterproof or anything, but I wouldn't worry about tossing it around in a bag or banging it if you're clumsy. There's not many physical buttons to this thing, but the best feature in my opinion is the stepless gain control. This lets you control the gain of the microphone right on the mic itself. This is butter for on the go adjustments and it makes zero noise while turning the dial so you get smooth gain transitions with ease. Most mics in this segment have one or two gain options max. The only other button is the power button which also controls your low cut filter. You can choose 75 hertz or 150 hertz. I haven't had to use this personally but it's cool to know that it's there. When it comes to power it has a built in battery that promises upwards of 51 hours and it charges over USB-C. I've never had had this thing die on me and I doubt you'd ever be able to reach the power limits of this mic. So this mic doesn't come with a dead cap, but it does have a nice foam cover that stays on tight and does a pretty good job of blocking out wind noise. I probably should have prefaced this earlier, but I'm not a sound guy. I have very basic knowledge of sound and audio, so rather than me blabber and pretend to sound like I know what I'm talking about, here's an outdoor field test from a project I'm currently working on. What's cool about this example is my buddy Alex and I, who I'm shooting this with, we showed it to some production friends and they thought we had plugged into his PA to get the audio. It's just that the D3 does an amazing job at blocking out ambient sound and recording only what you pointed at. The fancy way to say that is it has great off access rejection. Because this mic is so directional, aside from it being great for camera mounted setups, it's also great for interviews. If you grab the optional location kit, you get this really nice XLR adapter. This makes it very compatible with more high-end recording interfaces, plus you get this nice Rico pistol grip, which lets you attach it to a boom pole or mic stand. Quick shout out to Caleb Pike for this idea, but what I like to do now is pair the D3 Pro with a Rode Wireless Go, and this makes an awesome wireless boom setup. Here's a quick sample of how that sounds. Yeah, my, my entire life was musical. I was born into the, one of the most musical families I've ever heard of, like every single person on my mom's side of the family at one point made their living off of music solely. Like, um, and then on my dad's side of the family, like my, my grandfather on his side as well was like a wedding singer with, we had a, had a wedding band um, that were extremely popular in Winnipeg. All right. Like with any microphone, the closer your audio source is to the mic, the better it's going to sound. That's why my voiceover right now sounds so rich. I'm basically eating the D3 Pro. With that being said, I think the mic has great character, whether it's mounted to your camera, a boom pole, or in a VO setup. It's really a jack of all trades mic. Ultimately, in all the situations I've used this mic in so far, it has never let me down and it has consistently surpassed my expectations. And that's not just because it's 200 bucks. Regardless of the price, it's just a damn good microphone that's super versatile and reliable. It's honestly so good, I might just buy another one. Here's a little bit of behind the scenes on this setup. I used this uh, kind of top down tripod. I'll put a link in the description. And then I have everything going into the Ninja V from the XC3. My first full YouTube video shot on the XC3 with the Ninja V. I got a couple new lights too. This little like RGB light and one of these ones which I'm just bouncing off the ceiling to give it a nice flat kind of style look. And this table, which is the best thing I've ever bought. Um, I'm in love with it. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Peace out. Don't forget to click subscribe and comment your best dad joke below. I'm Patrick Tommaso, thanks so much for watching and you'll hear me next time I feel like making a video. Cheers.